Hey guys and girls, thumbs up from me. Welcome to my channel, Drill Love Survival. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Get Home Bag, the GHB. Uh, if you saw my previous video, you saw that I went to Bristol by coach. It's a 250 mile round trip. Anything can happen while I'm away. And if I did, if something did happen, I would have at least have some supplies, some kit in my bag to help me to get back home. These days anything can happen, you never know. It's always good to have some food, some water, some extra supplies, some first aid kit, and um, you know, compass, stuff like that. Maybe you might not be able to get back by coach, there might be an emergency situation, might, you might get an injury. So it's always good to have a good first aid kit with you. Obviously, some other supplies, just in case you may have to sleep out overnight on your way back. Now, Bristol being 125 miles away, you know, I'm not going to make that back in the evening. It could, it could possibly take me three days walking, four days walking. Um, so, stick around and I'll show you what I've got in my kit. See you in a sec, guys. Welcome back guys and girls, so here we have it, the get home bags on the table, GHB for short, and basically it's the Carry More Ridge 32, I really do like this pack um, because it's got a nice carrying handle at the, at the top, at the back here, and it's got a really nice carry handle here, um, before I show you that, um, just going to take off the walking stick. Always good to have a good walking stick. Basically, I picked up this Gillette one from from the store. Nice lightweight walking stick. Also use that as a self-defense item. You know, you've got people with big machetes, and it's not illegal to have a walking stick with you. At least it will give you some distance. So let me take that and put it to the side. Um, like I was saying, this carry handle, I really like it because you can pick your bag up this way or you can pick up your bag from the handle that it's got on the top now the ridge bag is 32 litres like I was saying and it's got um, two quite large compartments it's got a nice zips very good zips made a very good lightweight somewhat water resistant material now it's not military grade or anything like that, but it's very good for every day or short trips, even weekenders. So like I said, it's got a nice padded handle at the front. It's got a compression strap on the side here, handy for putting stuff in the side pouch. In this mesh pocket, it's got two mesh pockets, one on either side. Now I went to Bristol the other day and basically I got myself a little map of the, the bus, so it's always good to know where you're going, and bus routes, etc. Right, now it's also got a nice um, compression strap on this side as well, and a mesh pocket. Now, it's got um, places where you can put your pole, like I just showed you. You can carry your pole, walking, walking pole like that, on the outside. Um, I just keep a couple of carabiners, one climbing rated one and just another carabiner here which is good for attaching stuff to your kit obviously a climb rating one it's got loads of multiple uses to have one of those you need to have a good one of these as well just in case right now on the very top it's got a nice zip compartment and like I was saying it's got two other compartments one at the very back Okay, now we'll be going through the contents of it in a minute. Just want to quickly show you the outside. So yeah, this, this compartment here is actually bigger than this one. 
Um, so at the back here you can put your shelter stuff and then here you can put the larger items. It's also got places where you can put notepads, um, books, pens and stuff like that. So the, the straps, shoulder straps are really nice pad in there. Very nice. It's, like, it's almost like conforming foam. Really nice straps there. It's got a sternum strap. It does come with a sternum strap. You can move that up and down. Very handy for repositioning your, your sternum strap. Okay, so let me just do that up actually. Nice buckles, sternum strap. It also comes with a waist belt as well, which I don't always use. Uh, but it has got one, a very nice one, not bad buckles. And I suppose this is why they call it the, the ridge. Because the, the padding is really very nice on this. Um, now, if you can see the pattern, it's kind of like ridges. So it's got padding, and then it's got the ridges, which is also a very nice feature on there as well. And that actually goes right down to the bottom of almost underneath the bag. Actually, it does go underneath the bag, if you can see that there. So that's a really nice feature. Very comfortable. If, if you've got a heavy load, it's not going to dig into your back. Now, at the top here, on the carry handle, I just got a car uh, paracord bracelet. With, with a whistle and a small ferro rod in there. Okay, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to start off with this top pouch right here. Okay, it's got a nice size pouch, comes down to about here. Um, what I'm actually going to do, nice and orange inside so you can clearly see everything. And actually what I do before I empty out the contents, I'm just going to quickly show you what I've got on one of those keychain holders. Um, the very first thing actually, I've got a little light. I'll just show you that quickly. Nice dinky little light there. It's got different features. You can make it um, not so bright. And it's also got a kind of a strobe effect going on. Pick this up, about five pounds. Nice little light, just so that I can see around the bag. And if I'm walking, I can have it on the outside of the bag and have it in flashing mode so I can be seen. And it's also quite bright orange, uh, that should get me seen as well. Right, so what else? I've got a Night Eyes Carabiner S Bina. I've got a Carrymore uh, small little towel, folded folding towel. I've got little nail clippers on there, and I've also got one of those supermarket coins. Okay, you can also use these in the gym these coins very handy to have on a little key chain type thing so you take the coin out put it in your gym locker or in the supermarket trolley um, if you want to go shopping as well okay so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna enter the contents of this pocket at the top here and show you because I don't want to make the video too long today so this is what I keep in that top pocket just some tissues Got myself some Bole Trekker safety goggles. It was a very sunny day in Bristol, so I brought these along with me. Fantastic safety goggles. Just got some hand gel. If you haven't got any water to keep your hands clean, you can use this. You don't need water. Little chapstick for your lips. Loads of uses for that. I also got myself a nice silver compass. Actually, this goes in with the glasses. Uh, there's nothing metal in the case, so I can put the, the Silver Expedition compass in there. I do have the Sunto on my watch as well, but I've also got this very good compass right here. Okay, just one of those washing cloths, expandable, little lighter. And in here I've got two smoke masks, just in case I need to be careful with the stuff that I'm breathing in. And here... What I normally keep this in a little baggie. I just got to carry more light. Very cool little light this is, headlamp. Uh, it's got a couple of features. Just a normal uh, light with a couple of settings on there. Okay, and it's also got red. If you just press and hold. And then you also get the 
the SOS on there as well. Fantastic little torch, headlamp. So that's the contents of that pocket. So now I'm going to go into the, I'll just undo the compression straps. I'm going to go into the center compartment, um, keep quite a lot of stuff in there. Now my idea is, once I'm on the move, I was just using my wallet just to keep the bag up. Um, what the idea is, <coughs> excuse me, um, is that once you know I get out of the house, or before I get out of the house, there's a few little things in here that I will take out and put it in my pockets. Um, I will be going through the clothes that I wear as well in a little while. So, moving on to the centre compartment. I've got two nice zippers, and they come down to about roughly just below halfway on both sides. A nice little feature. That's why I like this bag as well. It's sort of got really sort of. It's not very thick military. It's not military material at all. It's actually quite thin, kind of water resistant material. But I like the way that it just peels down, revealing what you've got inside. Okay. Now, gotta be careful. I don't normally peel it right down. So what I do is I come down about three quarters, and then you can kind of peel it over. Yep, you can see there. It reveals the stuff inside. Now. Like I was saying, there is a few things in here that I want to take out, put it on my person. Now, pretty much this goes with me everywhere. This is the SAS um, BCB Mini Mess Box. If you scroll down in my videos, I will be updating this video, this uh, actual tin soon. Just going to check, check it out, see what's inside. I might have to exchange the water pur purification tablets and stuff like that. So, yeah, like I was saying, scroll down into my videos and look out for this tin and you'll see what I keep in there. This goes with me everywhere and in all my kits. Uh, this is another little add-on pouch. I did a video on this recently. This also, I take it out, put it in my pockets. This is the add-on pouch. You can scroll down in my videos and see what I keep in there. Okay, now, I always keep a nice bottle of, amount of water. So I've got one of these bottles and very very handy to have your own water with you just in case you can't find any and anyway you want to hydrate yourself before you go on your trip obviously have some good food hydrate yourself so I'll keep one of those in there so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna just peel it down now and it will reveal my ham radio that's another thing you can either keep this in your bag or put it in your pockets it's up to you what you do always good to have an emergency radio so you can listen to what's going on. Perhaps you can contact someone. Right. And, and what I do is I keep the aerial in here, in this pocket here somewhere. <laughs> Where is it gone? Here it is, right here. So if I just pull it out, I keep the aerial to the radio right there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull out this bag right here. This is a dry sack, and I'll put that to one side for the second. And also, I have a pair of waterproof trousers, but I'll show you what waterproof trousers I've got when I go through the clothes section. Right, yeah, I've got a couple of mesh pockets up here, and what else have I got right down the bottom? I've got some paracord here. It's about 50 foot of wild, wild elk paracord. I do like the wild elk paracord. Loads of uses for paracord in black. Right. Now, if you can see down here, you can peel down the, the bag. That's a really nice thing about it. You can come, peel it down slowly, grab what you need. Uh, it's also got a zipper compartment at the back there. And it's got a couple of places here at the front where you can slot pens, notepads other little bits and pieces. So what I do, I'm just going to quickly take out all the contents of this stuff, put it on the table and show you what I keep here. Two mesh pockets, uh, so just bear with me. Here, I just have an emergency foil blanket, burn shield, emergency burn care, an emergency armband, just in case I want to be seen at night time when I'm walking pair of gloves, always handy to have gloves if you're going to be 
working on yourself, you don't want blood everywhere, blood on your gear. Some super glue, unused in the package still. Glow stick. Israeli bandage, six inch. First aid kit. Uh, some stuff that I put in there myself, paracetamols, diarrhea tablets, um, other plasters, other small little gauze pads, um, thermometer, small scissors, and some other little bits and pieces. Always good to have a little good first aid kit with you. I've got a face shield right here. And I've also got a little mirror. Signaling, etc. If I want to check out if I've got something in my eye and it's got a nice little chain on there as well so that's the contents of those two mesh pockets in the first compartment of the bag so down in the bottom here you've got some compartments where you can put your stuff just in this little pocket down here I have a little baggie with bandana three of those expandable towels Notebook, some gorilla tape, some electrical tape, red electrical tape, and some gorilla tape. Just got a regular red pen, and I do have a Sharpie in here as well. Right, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to unzip this compartment right here, and this place in here, nice, quite, it's quite a big pouch, about half, goes all the way down to the bottom, so it's about half the size of the bag, and in here I keep some food items, which what I'm going to do is I'm going to take them out, put them on the table, and show you the food, item, food items. So in this bag... Just got some snack bars, mixed fruit and nut bars. I've got about three in there. Three different fruit bars, really good. Natural produce. Some energy drink powder. I've got two of those. I've got some mini mini pack raisins. Three packets of those. Snack pack. I've got some three in one coffee. And I've got some power kick at the back there. Uh, that's everything in there. Just got another packet of tissues. Loads of uses for tissues. And some deep cleansing wipes. Moving on. Got a dry sack here. This is the extra small dry sack. This is everything I keep in the dry sack. Starting off on your left hand side. Top corner, left hand corner, just a fresh wipe, lemon fresh wipe. In this baggie, I've got the O light case and charger, and I've also got a fully charged power bank with me, 10,000 mAh, uh, ready to go. Always charge your gear before you go on any trip, always check it, make sure you've got the right leads. Okay, down the bottom here, got a bit of a night hygiene kit. Shaving cream, razor blade, toothbrush, toothpaste, some cotton wool earbuds, and some soap. Uh, top middle, some gas. Just below that, I've got the BRS stove, titanium, very nice bit of kit, very light, comes in its own little bag. Just below that, I have the titanium windshield. For my stove, just in case it gets a bit windy. Uh, top corner, I've got some of these bottles here with some water purification tablets in there. Three different sizes. If you scroll down on my videos, you will see the reusable water bottles. Nice bit of kit. I've uh, got the Topes 550 mug with the lid. Just below that, I've got the Tom Shoe folding spork. Some Uncle Ben's rice, special Mexican bean rice, mm, very nice. Okay, two minute 
uh, cooking time. Um, but I think if you put it in a pan, I could probably have half of that in there. Probably cook it up in a couple of minutes. So I've got some food, some porridge, oats, some more electrolytes, some salt, pepper, and a couple of sachets of milk chocolate drink there. I don't have a brew kit in this kit, but I do have a couple of hot chocolate and some electrolytes. Right, uh, cotton sleeping bag liner. I'm not, I don't want, I don't want to flaff around with those plastic things. 125 mile trip. I don't want to be sleeping in the plastic, um, although they're, they're very handy over the night, I thought I'd bring myself a nice cotton, bag, uh, cotton sleeping bag liner to go inside the WTX uh, bivy, extra light bivy bag. Very good bit of kit this, 206 grams, good to 10k. So it's very waterproof, nice bivy, and combined with that, I'll be very comfortable, hopefully. So that's the contents of the dry sack. Okay, so we've been through this pocket at the front, been through the center compartment. I really like the way that it kind of peels down and you can get to things as you want. And very lightweight bag. And if you want something to be extra, you know, if you don't want to want it to be extra waterproof, just put it in a dry sack. Okay, just going to open up the last compartment at the top here. A couple more items in here that I'd like to take out just before I hit the road. That is the Swiss Army knife. Uh, basically, very handy knife here. Multi-tool. Um, I do have a multi two as well, I'll take that out in a second. Very nice handyman. If you go down in my videos and check it out, you'll see I did a kind of a review on this the handyman. It's got screwdriver, knife, saw, bottle opener, scissors, um, pliers, it's got loads of stuff on it. The handyman, Swiss Army knife. I just keep it in the bag just so that no moisture gets in there. You know, it's just a good way of looking after your gear. And it comes in a nice leather pouch. You can put it on your belt, put it in your pocket. I generally put them in my pockets. Um, I could put it on my belt as well. It's got a nice little belt loop on there. Uh, another thing here, which I'll be taking out, putting in my pockets, or I could, again, I could put it onto my belt if I wanted. Just a Leatherman, Leatherman one of the older models. Fantastic bit of kit. And because we're in the UK, I've actually cut the blades down. So they're not three inches, the file, as well as the knife, okay? And they're not locking neither. So this is one of the older models. Still in fantastic condition. Had this for loads of years. I think I've had this for nearly 20 years, something like that. Right, let me just check to see if there's anything else that I'll pull out and put in my pockets. Nope. So... Here's what the pocket looks like, and I'll start actually just bringing it down. And what we've we got in the very top. Okay, here I just got one of those little uh, tablets, seven-inch job. So on here I've got maps. I've got uh, a couple of films that I was going to watch on the coach, and uh, not a bad. It's only a cheap and cheerful Alcatel, but it does the job got loads of things on there different apps like I said it's got the maps uh, at the top here I just got a tourniquet in a case very handy and it's at the top you know I've got my first aid in the first in the first center compartment so in combination with that if there's any serious injuries I can hopefully deal with them got a pair of surgical scissors in there as well um, these are good. Picked these up really cheap recently, 50 pence. Always good to have a high vis jacket, orange, good for signaling, etc. Uh, in here, I do have a waterproof rain cover for the actual bag itself. Okay, always handy to have, nice elasticated. And if I if I wanted to, it's got silver on the other side as well. I can possibly use that as signaling, or I could just have change the colour, change the bag to silver or I can change it 
to black. Okay. Now if I wanted to walk at night, I could have the silver reflective one, use it on my bag and be easily seen. Right, so that's the rain cover. Uh, moving on. Um, yes, I do have a survival bag. Now, that's basically, I'll use this as a ground sheet, or I could actually put my bivy and my um, cotton liner in here as well. So I could have three um, covers on me just in case it was really cold. So I've got a survival bag as well. Also very bright orange, you can use that as a signalling um, device as well. As you can see it's got nice orange inside the bag which I really do like. And I've just got an emergency blanket here as well. This is actually quite a large one. So, you know, I've got signalling devices and extra ways of keeping myself dry. I can use this as a ground sheet and I can use this as a, a cover as well. And uh, let's just check down in there, there's nothing more in there. Another spare glow stick, always handy to have. And something to kneel on. I've got one of these sitting mats right here. Okay, very handy to have. Good bit of kit. And I think this is the last item, guys. Uh, there's nothing down the back there yet. Yeah, I know it's the last item. Uh, that's the way I worked in the video, but there are a few things, more things I want to go through with you. Okay, so let me just put the bag down like so for the minute. And I've got one of these all weather multi purpose thermal blanket, handy bit of kit. It's got paracord in there, it's got tent pegs in there, ready to go. And in conjunction with the, the bivvies and the survival blanket and the um, mylar blanket, I've got, got plenty of um, shelter options there. What I'll do is I'm just going to quickly lay down this gear in the middle, just have a quick run through. So this is everything just laid out that I just took out from the last section of the bag. Uh, there is a few more things I want to show you. Uh, a couple of more things that I will put in my pocket. Okay, so these are some of the items that I will put in my pocket, that you've got in your pocket anyway. I'll have my little Bible, New Testament and Psalms, King James Version. Actually this is based on the 1611 version, hard to find these these days but I've got one of those in there my glasses reading glasses because the letters are quite small in the Bible but I've got reading glasses there I've got the S1R baton Olight fantastic bit of kit it's the I did a review on this actually if you scroll down in my video section you'll see the little review I did on the S1R baton the turbo 900 lumen version fantastic bit of kit loads of um, different modes on there and I like the fact that it's got the strobe light just in case an attacker comes and I'll blind him with them with the strobe light <laughs> okay so that goes in my pocket jacket pocket that normally goes into um, your wallet now that's another little thing about your wallet I keep a little pen in here a little zebra nice little bit of kit extendable um, Obviously your credit card, some cash, and on this side I've got some sewing needles, if you can see down in there. And actually one of them has got some thread on there, ready to go in case I've got to repair anything. And I do have some little spare flints in there for my lighters, uh, safety pins, always handy to have safety pins, and some other little bits of coinage in there as well. And even some spare thread always handy just for repairing so I've got a bit of a sewing kit in my wallet like I said some some coins in there as well a couple of pounds coins and a 50 pence piece and that's about it really in the wallet and also here I've got my oyster card for when, when I was taking the tube to Victoria my keys with a whistle on there as well emergency whistle for, for signaling etc now this is quite handy on here I have a little nail file, bottle opener, small little blade and a handy sized pair of scissors on there as well. Okay, that's on my keys. 
and I just got some leather gym gloves fingerless and I just got some nice thin but very warm um, wool gloves so in combination with the leather gloves that will not only keep my hands protected because of the leather keep them nice and warm so that's what I keep in my pockets as well as the Swiss Army knife the Leatherman and um, obviously things like your phone okay I'll have my phone in my pocket as well so on the day I wore some really nice wool socks I didn't wear the commando socks this time because um, the weather wasn't going to be really that cold but I've got some really nice wool socks this is part of your getting your foundation right if you saw the video I did recently on the boots and socks uh, scroll down in my video section and you will see the boots and socks video that I did getting your foundation right also part of the foundation is having yourself a good set of thermals now I've got the tops and the bottoms so on the day I actually put on thermal top thermal bottom um, I really wanted to make sure that I wasn't going to get cold or caught out plus in an emergency situation you know your first line of defense is your clothes so good socks and good thermal set bottoms and tops right there these are the boots I took with me fantastic pair of boots uh, like I was saying I did a video of the boots and socks I showed these in there as well these are the Salomon Ultra X Ultra Trek waterproof boots they were fantastic on the day made made my day really good because I had a comfortable pair of boots this is part of getting your foundation right uh, waterproof very warm combined with the socks um, so I took these along with me and they were fantastic on the day you know I wanted to test them out as well on a you know relatively long journey I wasn't walking that much I think in total on that day I walked about six to seven miles but they did very well and they were good the pack was light it felt light on my back so there's the boots I took with me this is the jacket I took with me it's the Carrymore Elite these are the waterproof Elite uh, WTX the jacket is also WTX and these are the um, trousers that go with that jacket I've also got a shemag that went with me to Bristol always good to have a shemag scarf bandana you can do all sorts of things with a shemag water filtration triangular bandage emergency bandages there's a myriad of things that you could do with a shemag so that goes with the clothing as well that was on my person these are my Viper uh, operators trousers pants whatever you want to call them cargo pockets really heavy duty material lightweight but very strong I believe they're called the Viper operators pants uh, just took a normal leather belt with me um, very good leather belt and like I said when I take things out I like to put things in my pockets I definitely like to put the the survival tin in my cargo pockets and they're a great size for my Bible and whatever else I want to put in there. So these are the Viper operator's pants. Right, so I had thermal t-shirt on. I had a kind of dress shirt. Nice, nice shirt on top of the thermal t-shirt. And on top of the shirt I had this Carrymore jumper uh, Elite as well. Nice little breast pocket there. Um, this is the Elite Carrymore jumper. On the side of the, the, the bag, that I didn't show you, let me just grab the bag quickly. There's the bag, it's got two mesh pockets. On this side, what I actually did was I stuffed a sleeveless jumper. Fantastic jumper. Sleeveless, I've had this jumper for years. Um, I really think the nice thing about this jumper in the middle it's kind of got a pocket which I thought is really cool again you know you can put things on your person 
I think you could probably get away with putting the the leather pouch inside there okay or whatever you want notebook notepad and pen will fit in there nicely nice little jumper actually I had this jumper for a long 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 time and I just figured if it did get a little bit extra cold I can use that in combination with this this jumper here the fleece jumper so if, and it didn't actually get that cold it was actually a fantastic day and um, I didn't actually need to wear this but just in case emergency situation uh, I'm stuck in Bristol there's no transport back I've got to walk it you know I just brought this as extra protection right I think I've covered everything the clothing what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick the clothing on the table and just have a little quick run through all the gear just to show you all the stuff that actually goes in the bag I also took a hat with me this is a hat by Gillette picked it up quite cheap from my friend's shop it's got the thin silhouette inside and it's kind of fleece material on the inside good thing about this the flaps come down they cover your back of your neck they also cover your ears very warm in combination with the the hood on the jacket it's a kind of cap style very warm and if you don't want it to go over your ears just fold it back up and it's got a little thing at the back here to make it tight on your head if you want to so that's by Gillette this hat You've got to have a hat I wasn't messing about that day you know could have been a very cold day it turned out to be a very sunny day if you checked out the video of the trip to Bristol so yep yeah, keep a hat with me okay so I've got everything laid out on the table starting on the left hand side going from left to right I've got the shelter equipment there the tarp in the green packet the foam pad there the kneeling pad the, the bivy the cotton liner emergency survival blanket the mylar blanket, extra large mylar blanket there, the high vis jacket, and below that is the note notebook and pens, Sharpie, red pen, electrical tape, gorilla tape, glow stick, right there, emergency. Just below that I've got the the tablet. Next to the tablet I've got the pouch for the O light, the charger's in there as well. Um, moving over to the left. I have the headlamp, the Carrymore 150 lumen headlamp. We've got several modes on there as well. The SR1 baton, fantastic little torch, 900 lumens. Uh, just below that, the Bole Trekker safety goggles with a couple of smoke masks right there. The silver expedition compass, just to the right of that, the paracord the BCB mini mess box, you can also cook in that mess box if you need to boil up some water the pouch, leather pouch, the add-on pouch, EDC add-on pouch, I brought that with me my Swiss army knife, the handyman, the leatherman the wallet, things I put in my pocket, keys bus pass, tube pass obviously my bible's got to come with me, I, I carry that with me every day anyway coming back over to the bag first aid gear in there that I showed you to go with the first aid gear the um, surgical scissors and the tourniquet to the right of the bag now lighter expandable towel BRS titanium stove gas Tokes mug Tom shoe folding spork fantastic um, spork there and, and Tokes mug very lightweight titanium gear also down here I have the wind shield, very handy to have. Very lightweight titanium windshield there. Uh, to the right of the Tokes mug, I just have a bottle, plastic bottle, very tough material with water in there ready to go. Now I refilled it once I got to Bristol. I used up a little bit of it, and you know I can refill it when I get to Bristol on the way back so just to the right of that more things to do with water the reusable bottles with 
some water filter, water purification tablets in there, little lemon wipe just below that, some porridge, salt, pepper, chocolate, instant chocolate, some Uncle Ben's rice. Uh, in an emergency situation, I would have to obviously ration this food. I could possibly get away with two days worth of food and then on the third day if I was travelling back to London in an emergency I guess I would have to just ration the snacks right there, the electrolytes, raisins, instant coffee, baked world tart bars right there, uh, raw nuts and fruit bars, fantastic, hygiene, wet wipes, tissues, hand gel, the old bandana, and the expandable towels right there, lip balm, you've got to have your lip balm and another little bit of hygiene stuff, toothpaste, toothbrush shaver, shaving cream, some soap in there as well some uh, ear cleaners right there as well, just below that the dry sack the bag cover right there, the gloves chamag, clothing in the centre, jacket trousers well guys that's a, that's about it the bag as well fantastic bit of kit amazing the, the amount of stuff you can get in the bag and last but not least let me just lean down actually and place the boots right in the very center there can't forget the boots essential bit of the kit let me just move back and show you all the kit laid out on the table now it's incredible the amount of stuff you could pack into a small bag but that's my get home bag what I took with me the loadout for my get home bag and this is all the gear that I took with me to Bristol fantastic trip still thinking about the move and uh, everything went fine good, act good actually to test out your gear and everything worked out really well so guys thanks for the guys that are with me that come this far Thumbs up from me. God bless you. I appreciate you very much. Thanks for the new subscribers. Thanks for my long, long time subscriber friends. Much love to you all. God bless you all. And remember to test out your gear. Try and get as good gear as you possibly can. Now, just in the background here is the walking stick. Okay, that I didn't remem remember to mention. <laughs> and I just did. And okay. That's it guys, thanks for watching the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care of yourself guys. God bless. So a get home bag, basically it's a setup where you've left your house and you're some distance away from your place and in case of an emergency you've got enough supplies to get yourself back home thus being called get home bag you might be just walking along and you might get injured foot injury something like that so it's always a good idea to have some supplies in your kit some first aid supplies and uh, so you can patch yourself up I will prob probably be <laughs>